trouble finding his bearings, some of his long retired colleagues were finding it even harder. Well, that is a really very, very, very bad defending. Nevertheless, the old pros hadn't forgotten absolutely everything, even if John Aldridge felt a little nervous on his big night. The 1988 Liverpool team found the going tough, but it wasn't long before those familiar partnerships were starting to gel once again. Dalgleish to Aldridge to all. It was only appropriate that in the second half the manager should play for his own team, while the Liverpool bench had a familiar face, or was it a name? Every defender's worst nightmare, two Dalglishes in the same team. 19-year-old Paul Dalglish, kindly released for the evening by Celtic, kept the momentum going by coolly tucking away the spot kick. But not every Scotsman had a perfect evening. Talk us through the own goal. Gareth, I've always said match the day. The ball between the back four and the keeper is the hardest one in football to defend against, and I just proved that fact tonight. I mean, I read it magnificently. I've run back 20 yards, but just an old man. Never trained. Couldn't get my leg around it. Oh, Grobler five years ago would have saved it. I've just told him that in the dressing room, but flew into the back of the net, and it's egg in my face, but such is life. We'll enjoy watching it again tomorrow. <laughs> You're not going to show are you? Just over 12,000 fans gave John Aldridge a standing ovation, but it won't be the last time they'll see him. I'll try and play as much as I can next year. Uh, I still love the game too much. As long as I keep on scoring goals and, and don't let anyone down, you know, uh, I'll keep on going as long as I can. I couldn't help noticing before the game you were very, very nervous. Oh, yeah, some of the chances of this, you can see it. Uh, it's one of the most nerve wracking nights of my life. Honours shared in a four all draw, but the tributes were still pouring in for Aldridge. He's got that knack of just being a yard on the way before people react. And he gets toe ends to balls. Most of it, you know, I saw John score spectacular goals. But the best goals I've seen him score really with his head. He's got some tremendous goals with his head. But he's, uh, he's one of those that can find that little yard away from people if you don't watch him all the time. And he made a great contribution to Liverpool Football Club's success during the time he was there. And he's done well for everyone. And moving into management now, uh, everyone that knows him would wish him uh, every success. And if he takes what he's done in the dressing room uh, amongst the players into the management, then he's got a hell of a chance because he'll have the respect right away for what he's done on the pitch. Terrible defending.